Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited about today because I am getting another pet for the funny farm that I have always wanted. Like legit, always wanted, and it's something I've never owned, and it's a hint, hint, a big enough animal that I need to take the horse trailer to get it. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss videos like this. And let's go. All right, everybody. We have been driving for hours and are finally home. And I'm gonna let you know who the surprise is. Let's see. always wanted to have a pet cow. I never did. I've bottle fed babies when I was little, but I've never had a cow of my own. Never had one that I could bottle. bottle oh shit. <laughs> and the wind just blew the horse trailer doors closed. So, nobody's here. So I have to try to figure out how the heck I'm gonna get out of my horse trailer because all the doors are closed and Matilda and I might get really close. Shoot, my windows have bars on them and my doors are slammed shut. So it's the feeder. Hmm, we'll see. If I don't ever get out of this horse trailer, you'll never see this video and you'll never get to meet Matilda. <laughs> so trust me, all these animals out here depend on me finding a way out of this horse trailer. So stay tuned. Well, I thought that it would do Matilda good to be next to Stella and Stanley. But Stella and Stanley are having a fit because I'm not in the stall with them. So listen to them screaming. So I'm not sure that they're much help to Matilda. I think they're scaring the hell out of her to be honest with you. These are the chattiest kids I've ever had. <laughs> Love them! But I did, I figured she wouldn't get lonely with them there. So they gave me a few gallons of her mama's milk. Um, she's never drank from a bottle. This is literally within one minute of introducing her to the bottle. She figured that out quick. Good girl. Did you have to go buy one today? You're gonna laugh, but I have had a bottle in my tack room for 15 years because I've always wanted a baby calf. I don't even know where I got the bottle. Oh God. I don't know why it was there. And when I went to get her today, I'm like, I swear I still have that bottle. And sure enough, there it was. And then they gave me the halter. Actually, they gave me a bottle too. So I have two bottles and the halter. And there she goes. This pink girl. After a while, you just feed her. Okay. Yeah, green and stuff. Look at her little nostrils. Get I close know. to those. Aren't those cute? She's like, what is that light? <laughs> Seeing the light. Do they talk all the time, Diana? Pardon me? Oh my God, she's cute. The oh, they talk quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, they're quiet as can be. They're sitting there sleeping until they hear us, and then they're gonna. Then they super excited to see somebody. Oh my God, you're so cute. When she's I actually really pretty. She's got pretty eyes. Oh, she's cute. 
Look at blinding her, mom. She's so cute, though. <laughs> Oh, this is a good video. Oh, that's real good stuff. She's figured this shit out now. Yeah, she has. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> she's gonna, like, know that it's time to... Oh, she's gonna attack you. She's gonna you. Still yeah. love me. Yeah. That's why I've always wanted to bottle. Just your typical farm morning. Bottle for the cow. Bananas for the piglets. This calf bottle has been in my tack room for over 14 years. As long as I've owned this place. I knew someday I would get what I wanted. And I've got her. I've got Matilda. She's a Jersey cross, so she has the beautiful eyes. And here's the cute part. She has beautiful eyes like a Jersey, but she is crossed with what's called a milking shorthorn. So she has, she's got spots. For me, I don't like anything that's boring colored. So I got my baby calf, I got the beautiful eyes, and I got spots. So I'm thrilled. Hi, pretty girl. Good morning. Oh, she's licking her lips for her bottle. Good morning, Matilda. <laughs> and of course, Stella and Stanley are saying good morning too. Good morning, Stella. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. Don't get up, Stanley, no big deal. Just go ahead and lay there. That's the sound I've always wanted to hear. This is only the second morning. So her fourth feeding since she's been here, maybe her fifth feeding, and she takes to the bottle instantly. Isn't she beautiful? Look at those eyelashes. We went and pay a fortune for that. She was born March 13th. Today is the 30th. So you guys can do the math and figure out how many days old she is. She still has her umbilical cord. Look at the heart on her forehead. Is she not the cutest thing ever? Yes. <laughs> She's pissed. Ouch. She's trying to go behind me and push thinking I'm her mother. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this last little bit of milk. This is her drinking just the little bit of water I put in there to kind of clean up the last of the milk. It's cold and it's water, but I don't know of any animals that shouldn't have fresh water, so I figure it can't hurt her. And I only put maybe half a cup to a cup of water in there. I am not a vet. I'm not advising you. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Okay, she's on her first walk. Timber, leave her alone. Whoop. Not sure that I'd necessarily call her halter broke, but she wants to be around us all enough that she's kind of going where we're going. Oops, whoops, whoops. There you go, good girl. Come on, sweetie. Instead of dragging her around, I'm gonna do kind of like I do with horses and just change direction. Timber, leave her alone. Timber, drop. Right there, drop. Spur, sit. Stay. Kane doesn't know how to sit or stay yet. You two stay. Whoops, 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 hold still. Whoops, whoops. Here, sweetie, let me fix you. Horses apparently didn't want a baby calf as bad as I did. <laughs> this is a lot for her for the first day, so I think we're going to make our way 
back toward the stall and I'll probably do this three or four times today with her. Okay. Good job, guys. Here's a funny fact. Pep is actually a cutting horse, which is a sport done with cows. So for him to be this standoffish of a cow is kind of surprising to me. This is not really a job for little kids. So if you've got little kids and you think you're going to have them bottle feed and that'd be fun, I warn you that she, ah, see when she butts it up like that, she's strong. I'm going to put a tiny bit of water in this and shake it up so that she has, um, gets the last of the milk. Plus it gives her some, a little bit more. I know, sweetie. Seems odd to me that you don't feed them more. I would think you'd feed them since it's a baby. You'd feed her till she's full, but... Apparently that's not how you do it. It's not what Google told me to do. Okay, this bottle is just a little bit of cold water I shook up in this so she gets the last of the milk and gets a little bit more to drink. I try not to let her head butt me at all because at some point she's going to be a big cow. So I try to pet her. I'm gonna open her stall up and let her out. So I try to kind of distract her from thinking she can bump me. And then what I do, right, wrong, or indifferent, I don't know what to tell you. What I do with her, if she butts me too much, is I take my foot and I'll pop it up like that and kind of cow kick her, just like her mom would do if she pissed her mom off. That way she doesn't get in the habit of butting me, because trust me, she would like to when she's done doing the bottle. And because she's gonna be a pet, I need to make sure that there are some boundaries and personal space. She does have a selenium salt block. Hay and calf creep here. She has not started eating that yet. Yes. Look who made her way up to the porch for some lovin's. Matilda has started some milk replacer today. And according to the back of the package, this is what she should be getting twice a day. I'm not a vet, but I did spend a half an hour doing the math, <laughs> figuring out powder and quartz and blah, blah, blah. Matilda! I like to bottle feed her in her stall. It kind of gets her put to bed for the night and that way no matter where she is on the place when I call her name she comes a running she has been home for four days now I also take her halter off I don't want to leave her halter on all the time to get her used to the halter I want her to get used to ouch having it taken on and off quite a bit Matilda's been here about a week <laughs> she's kind of getting a mind of her own so she's actually leading less now than she was when she was following me around so I have this on her rump because what she wants to do when she doesn't want to walk forward is pull back. And I don't want to drag her around by her face because let's face it, when she's an adult, I won't be able to. So look at these legs lock a little turd. While she's walking willingly, I'm going to stop. I rub all over her. I pick her feet up like I would a horse because eventually these hooves will need to be trimmed. So you want to make sure she's used to it. Just touch them everywhere. The back legs, cows have a tendency to kick. They're strong and they're quick. So I lift her up, hold them for a minute. There you go. And when I first started doing that, she would kick really hard and really fast. And I would just quietly hold them until she's soft. You don't want to let go while she's kicking and you don't want to let go when she wants you to let go. So you hold on gently. Whoop. Till they're standing soft. See, she's not putting any pressure on the leg and then put it down. It's the same thing you do we do with horses. Got one more leg here. There you go. Another thing I've been doing with her feet, let's see if she'll how good she's getting, is I do them back like this because when we quit, when we do horses, we there we go, that was really good. When we trim horses, we pull them back like that to do the trimming. So Ooh, that's my spot. That's my spot, Mom. You 
You want to make sure when you do any training on any animal, praise, praise, praise. Instead of getting mad at them for the wrong behavior, praise the good behavior. Like I said, I did not drop the rope and stop leading her until she was walking willingly. I learned something reading about how they train um, like sea world animals, the whales and the dolphins and the seals and stuff. And you can't get mad at them. It's not like a dog where you can, you know, push them down to make them sit and then say, oh, good boy, good sit. It's a matter um, with the sea animals is just praise. So you catch them doing something you want them to do and then you praise them for it. That was a huge aha moment for me. And when I read that, I thought, oh my gosh, that is so valuable to do with all animals whenever you're training. Instead of getting mad at bad behavior, just the second you catch them doing what you want them to do, reward them. So with her, she was willingly walking one way, so she got the reward of a whole bunch of pets and the rope dropped. See how she stepped on that rope and it stopped her? That's why you let them drag a rope. They kind of teach themselves to lead and give to pressure all by themselves. Yes, she'll be a month old on Friday. Are you pretending to be a horse? Look at you! Look at you big girl out there with the horses. She has been hanging around outside of these pastures because she wants to be like a horse, but she hasn't actually been that far into a pasture yet. have you been all my life? I learned from a feed store that 4-H'ers that have these halter broke um, steers and stuff that they show at the fair, they actually get them when they're older and the way that they halter break and teach them to lead is by tying them two to three hours a day. So I googled it and it is in fact the way they do it. So Matilda has been tied for two to three hours about four days a week for the last couple weeks and today I decided that maybe if there's ever an emergency she's going to need to go into the horse trailer. So Matilda is not only tied but she's in the horse trailer so if we ever need to she knows how to load. Apparently it's scaring the piss out of her. Another thing that I've decided with the bottle is I do put it now in a bottle holder. I do want to teach her to be a respectable sweet cow, not just a bottle fed spoiled brat. So she takes the bottle from the holder now and that has made her um, a lot more respectable to me. She's still excited when I come out with the bottle, but she's not headbutting me for it. Tomorrow is four weeks that she's been on a bottle and a half twice a day. Tomorrow, because of the four week mark, she gets reduced to one bottle twice a day and she's starting to get weaned from the bottle. She does eat hay. That is a mixture of grass and some alfalfa hay because I have both. This is half manna and grain and it looks like she ate the majority. This is just the droppings, which is perfect because she needs to be eating that before I can wean her. This right here is her calf creep feed, but she didn't like this. Um, I couldn't get her to eat it at all. So I got this, which is an all-purpose livestock sweet feed. So it's got molasses and good stuff. It smells really good too. I mix both of these. And as you can see in her feeder, 
She's obviously eaten all the big stuff because what I just showed you was nothing but the droppings. She is becoming a big girl and I hope you've enjoyed this first month with her as much as I have. And with that, stay safe, stay healthy, stay surrounded by loved ones, and most of all, stay grateful for all of your blessings. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the little bell icon if you don't want to miss darling videos like this. Until next time, thank you so much.